Hey guys, so today me and Tatum were just out and about and exploring our own city today, staycation if you will, and yes. we thought what better way but to combine our two expertise, her being travel, my being fitness, and help you find ways to stay healthy while you're out and about and traveling, whether you're going overseas or you're staying home and enjoying a nice staycation. So we have a few tips and tricks. If you are interested in those, keep watching and don't forget to like, subscribe to both of our channels, which are gonna be linked down below. And yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you can do is find a park. Parks are everywhere. Located everywhere. And they are in nature, getting fresh air. Um, a lot of parks have places where you are designated for you to work out in, so you could do pull-ups on a pull-up bar, or you might find something to do step-ups on. So um, here's some things that we did well when we found the park today. Um, I did some inverted dips. rows, I did dips, I did pull-ups, yeah. I did a little bit of stretching, you know, not too much working out. <laughs> um, but definitely just a nice jog, you know, a lot of the parks in the big cities um, are really nice and they kind of um, are a lot of times in the middle, so it kind of helps you get to know your surroundings and things like that so a nice jog in the park is perfect you know to stay fit and healthy so anytime that you're traveling maybe if not if you have huge baggage but you should always take the stairs just because you know it gets a little booty workout in it helps you just kind of not be such a lazy piece of shit you know while you're traveling <laughs> but it's true like you are on the second floor, you know? Just take the stairs, that's it. That's all you have to do. A lot of good things, like if you do find a park that also has stairs, you can do like calf raises. You can do some hop and squats. Hop and squats, some lunge switches. You can make it really fun and take your book bag along with you that can add a little bit extra weight yeah. to challenge you a little bit further. Yeah. And throughout all of this, don't ever forget to stay hydrated because I know your thirsty ass needs water. <laughs> you have to throw some of <laughs> But seriously, like you have to stay hydrated. It's one of the best things, especially when you're flying. Planes are so dry. And for you to be awake and refreshed once you get to a destination, you know, flying, driving, um, on a train, anything. Like staying hydrated is really one of the number one things. Some other fun things you can do while staying fit in the cities are bike rentals. So Atlanta has um, added that to something that you can do while you're downtown and lots of other cities across the globe have bike rentals and they're pretty inexpensive and a way for you to see the city a little bit faster as well as getting a good cardio workout in. Amsterdam obviously is one of the biggest places. There are more bikes in Amsterdam than there are people and that's actually the number one thing that gets stolen. So. <laughs> Yeah, to go around. Like yeah, I know. <laughs> There's more bikes riding around with no people on it. <laughs> but what happens is they have so many canals, little side streets and stuff. Like if you're just going to be exploring a new city, it's really the perfect way. So another thing to incorporate on your healthy vacation is food. <laughs> so, I mean, when you travel somewhere, obviously the food is on your list. So we're not telling you not to enjoy the food. Definitely do that. Go to a restaurant, taste the food, and really enjoy the indulge. culture. The food. But see, the, the difference is always making sure that you stay in moderation. Because if you go somewhere and you just completely dive headfirst into burgers and fries every single breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I mean, you're gonna come back with extra luggage. Like, yeah, <laughs> extra baggage, <laughs> and it's gonna cost extra for that. Uh -huh. So um, another alternative to the restaurants and a way to save some money is to just head to a local convenience store or grocery store and get some snacks, something healthy and light that you can put in your bags or keep at the hotel. Um, most hotels have little mini fridges that you can keep things cool for a while. Or I know Tatum enjoys an Airbnb. Yeah. So in a lot of places, I remember me and my boyfriend stayed in Paris for a whole week and that can get pretty expensive eating out every single day. So instead of having a big brunch, you know, we would take some fruit or, um, you know, carrots and things like that. Uh, we would eat that first and then kind of go out and maybe have a bigger lunch and a small dinner or something. But being able to cook and 
where you're staying really does help because you can kind of eat your own snacks, then you can go back later on at night. You just kind of make your own food and it helps save money and the other thing too is that if you're traveling for business, because not all travel is glitter and gold, um, try to maybe schedule some meetings that are before or after lunch or dinner. Because when you see other people indulging in things like burgers and fries and milkshakes and bottles of champagne, you know, like me, um, <laughs> you are more likely to indulge in those kinds of things as well. So if you Schedule meetings, you know, maybe before lunch or right after or maybe like an after dinner kind of meeting You're just like less likely to be unhealthy. So while you're at the hotel There are plenty of ways to utilize that obviously hotels have um, gyms that you can use They usually have some weights a treadmill something small something, and light yeah. so you can do a little 30 minutes uh, circuit training workout there or you can just use the quarters in the hotel. You can use There's lobby. so many little nooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. Use those stairs like we showed you guys earlier. And maybe whip out some nice pretty lunges. And work that booty in the hallway. I mean, okay, so basically this video is about how to make a big booty. Yeah. <laughs> on vacation. <laughs> big booty travel. Big booty travels. That is my next YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. The biggest thing that you should always do, no matter where you go, is to just walk everywhere. Now, I know a lot of other people kind of say that, and that's just a universal thing, but it really is true, besides obviously drinking water. But a lot of places, especially in Europe, they have lots of walking tours, and it's a way for you to kind of get your bearings on the city while also kind of staying in shape. If you can walk instead of taking the subway or any of that, it's honestly the way to go. And now the last thing too, um, if you're in your hotel and you just don't feel like getting in the hallway and working your booty out, um, there's a really cool app called Swerk It. And if you're lazy like me, the most basic kind of thing that you can um, download. So it's pretty much you download the app and you put in the amount of time that you want to work out, let's say a minute. Um, <laughs> let's go with five minutes if we're being really adventurous. So you put in 15 minutes, let's say, and you say you want to work out your legs or your arms. So it has a little person on the screen and it will count down for you and it will do the workout and then it will show you the amount of time you have to do it and then it will switch. So it's super easy. You can just kind of download, do a little quick 15 minute workout here and there. It's just another way to stay in shape, you know, do something while you're traveling on the road because I don't want to see Instagram pictures of your flat, flabby, flabby, <laughs> your, you want to look good for the camera or you want to look good and just feel good about yourself when you travel. Yeah, so those are our tips to help you stay nice and fit while you're on your travels. I hope that some of these tips helped you guys. I know I have a lot of clients that like to travel quite often, so I know they'll be watching this video and saying that they did it and then coming back and five pounds heavier. Yeah. That, don't let that beat you. <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with a friend. If you have a friend who needs these Wherever. tips, yeah. there, there'll be buttons <laughs> everywhere. Bon voyage, bitches! Peace out. <laughs>